initiation retro. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to bypass Bloom security doors and get inside. Then find and erase your personal CTOS profile. Whatever they have on me, it's all bullshit. And I'm sick of getting harassed for it. All the more reason for a purge. We'll be watching. Try to keep up. By the way, we put this playlist together to set the mood. Hope you like it.
You're wasting your time. He's not in. Gotcha. So that's him. He's got a gun. Is that a problem? Well, problems are why you keep me around, right? Time him. I'm curious. Too late. He's in. Already? Don't play out on them. I have no idea. Nuh-uh. No synonyms either. Give me a real answer. I'm just not that into aliens or video games. It's not just any alien. It's... Oh, come on. Anyone else having a problem with their... Oh, what? Oh, God. Oh, God! that already? Yeah, I never listen. raised in Oakland, but was born in... <laughs> His deal is, he's been hanging around the DedSec IRC, and he's got cred. Figured we'd give him a test drive. On the hardest difficulty, nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before. I want to see if he's smart, stubborn, or both.
done this before. CTOS tagged him as the prime suspect in a high-tech burglary, so... He's done time? Community service. Not enough evidence. Just the word of CTOS's predictive algorithms. But once in the system... Always in the system. Holy shit! He went for it! You won't have much time before the backups kick in. Going in the hot aisle. It's at least 120 degrees in there. Give the man props. He's going the mile. Nobody's gotten that far. This is like the secret cow level. Why is my threat so high? This is bullshit. I could just... I'm just gonna drop a little back door into the system so I can get back inside later. Sorry, Bloom. We've got unfinished business. He's heading out. Bag him. Yeah. Agent's out cold. We got an intruder. Lock down the exit and send someone to 
Fuck I'm gonna go. In 2013, Chicago realized the promise of smart cities with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with surveillance, security, and transit programs. 
With a few hundred lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Many believed the attack would be a killing blow for smart city development. They were wrong. Coordinated from the heart of Silicon Valley, CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in the Internet of Things. 6.4 billion connected devices now serve as collection points, mapping and recording our daily routines, making a more secure and more invasive system. But who else is listening? Big Brother no longer works alone. Thousands of little brothers monitor and aggregate your every move, building a complete digital profile of you to be bought, sold, or stolen in an instant. Toys study your children, reporting their play habits back to marketers. Appliances, consoles, and home security systems give corporations a window into your private life. Control of your vehicle and mobile device can now be breached remotely by anyone at any time. You may think that you are immune or underestimate the risk, but your digital shadow is already compromised. Insurance companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage. Health providers determine if your cancer is is worth treating. Search results and news fees are skewed to bias mood and influence your vote, engineering social uprisings on a massive scale. You are now less valuable than the data you produce. Data you produce. This is the new reality. Going dark is no longer an option. With threats to personal freedom rising, many are stepping forward. Whistleblowers, activists, and hackers have drawn their battle lines, putting the establishment on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? Freedom's last line of defense. So? Am I in? Welcome to DedSec. I'm Satara. This sweetheart is Josh, AKA Hot Sauce. Yo, your hot sauce? Yo, man, I loved your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. This weirdo's wrench. The needs of the many. And this Casanova is Horatio. What's up, brother? Something. It's the crew, huh? Took y'all long enough to come get me. Shit. You saw Bloom's bullshit. CTOS isn't just regulating infrastructure. The amount of personal data that thing is collecting is fucking mind blowing. Yeah. It's Big Brother and Little Brother all rolled up into one. Huh? Sees everything you do and tells on you. Thank you, Josh. So what's the fix? Sledgehammers and fire. No! Sledgehammers on fire. <laughs> All of that data in one place means they can reject your fucking application before you click on it. <laughs> Congratulations, you have been pre-rejected for our credit card. Or your house, or your insurance. That's not even the worst case scenario. All that data in the hands of the government? They'll arrest you for shit before you even do it. Yeah, I've been there. Now I fucking know why. Man, f fuck it! Fuck it, man. We're hackers. We, we out think, we out dare. I, I say we tear down the fucking wall. Hey, show everyone what, what Bloom's up to, man. Show, show the world that their personal data is being used to rob them of their fucking freedoms. Fuck. I installed a back door, so all we gotta do is walk right through. Uh, hold on. You what? He installed the back door, so all we have to do is walk through. Bingo. Hey, man. Oh. You got the time? Oh, yeah, man. I, I got it. I got it. It's kind of late for a night run, isn't it? Hey, what are you, what are you running from the cops? <laughs> Maybe I am one. Hey, hey you, you look familiar. 
Have a good party. Fucking thing, this mother... Fuck you, Bloom. I'm gonna go have a goddamn good time. Hello? Whose phone is this? It's your new phone. Where's my phone? In the ocean, where you threw it, I think. I don't remember. I was pretty smashed. Look, meet us at the hackerspace. Where? Check your pics and figure it out. Place am I in? Cause I can never make you happy. No, I can't do that, girl. Only wish I could love you so. Makes it so very hard to do. I guess I was lit, huh? <laughs> like Mardi Gras. Go get yourself something to wear, and I'll tell you where to go next. Oh, and you'll need your phone ready for operations. So hit the store and download your apps before you get here. Damn, walk of shame on my first day.
Hey. Do we know each other? Awesome! Hey, uh, you can change in the back. Have a good one. Oh, hey. This shit. Go ahead and cry. Surrounded by goddamn crybabies. How old is he? 17. He's got no place to stay, so we took him in. That sounds dangerous. How do you know you can trust him? He's just some poor kid with shitty parents. I wish somebody would have given me a break when I ran. I wasn't going to leave him on the street. I'm just saying things are different now. The world...
Hey! Nice! I want to get a shot of that. Now that's worth a shot.
Friends. Have you considered laser eye surgery? Ah, he's not the laser away eye that directive easily. center is staffed with top experts in the field. For the last 15 years, we've oh. treated thousands of satisfied customers. I never thought I'd be able to see without my glasses, but now I can. It's amazing to wake up in the middle of the night and be able to see what time it is without having to squint. I stumbled across an it is that Oakland silicon awful liar three between
rice on the run. They're saffling chili chicken to die for. You want to die for? Montreal, California has the best hangover cure ever. You gotta try their candied bacon poutine. Their maple infused gravy. Heaven. I'm getting fat just listening to you. Stop. Then are you ready for dessert? Sweet oat dessert truck. Deep fried cheesecake on a stick. Oh my god. I would totally go fat and old. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>
Damn it. Fucking bullshit. As I was saying. Welcome to Plainstock. You want it? We got it. We have great deals on hoodies and polos this week. Hey. This is the last thing I need. Fine. Do whatever. All right, Sitar, so where you at? Sending you the location and the passcode for the door. Better now. How'd you pull that off? 
I have the hipsters to thank. Turns out all these little craft and antique shops that keep popping up are full of things she loved when she was a kid. Oh, that's cute. I never thought about it like that. Hipsters are basically old people in young bodies. Old people in young bodies pretending to be old people. We need to pair them up as volunteers at a retirement home or something. Agnes, my goiter needs to be drained. <laughs> Gladys, it's time for my enema. <laughs> We're so bad. Yes, we are. <laughs> Somebody!
Get back on the road. You're gonna kill What the fuck, man? Yeah, por donde vas? Son of a... What is this? Y luego See you around. Around. No. Get pues... mierda! Subnormal. Sí, ya veo. Eso... No es... Ajá. No, no creo, la verdad. Sorry, man, I'm clumsy. What can I say? No one told me that by exotic cuisine... <laughs> Who sent this? What the hell? Yo, I'm chill. I'm a better person. Vea que te enseñen modales. Sí, me está llevando. No me veas. Oh. So, I rolled a 12 and just barely made a hit, but it was enough. My paladin was down to one life before I was able to heal everyone with a prayer for divine intervention to my deity, Arneson. Hey, you. So Josh and I spoke, and fucking over Bloom has been a long-standing project. All right, you need two things to take down Bloom. You need to get people to rally behind your cause and separate you from the trolls. And we need bots, and a lot of them to handle the data CTOS is processing. Thank you, Josh. We spent all night modifying our app so you can get followers to download the app, and we can use their processing power for the cause. This is happening? It's really happening? Mm -hmm. Man, this is happening. You better get to it. <laughs> Hell yeah, man! Barbarians are at the gate and ready to bust some Roman heads. Yeah, we're gonna focus on some high-profile ops, playing for exposure and laughs to get people to download our app. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't worry. So that was only fun. <laughs> Marcus! <laughs> Check you out. Alive and dry. I wasn't sure after your moonlight swim. Come here. You've got to check this out.
The original Chicago DedSec has coordinated operations, everybody mostly working towards the same goal. Rumors say that the leaderless group actually has somebody upstairs calling the shots. The Council of Daves. I can't say if it's true or not, but somebody's focusing their efforts. I know because I studied everything about them, even ran a few of their ops. I wanted to emulate them, try to figure out what worked for them and apply it to us. But the members of our Bay Area dead set couldn't be more different from each other. Now, if there was a spectrum spanning anarchists to activists, we'd probably fill the whole damn thing. But there's one thing that unites the key crew. Each one of us has reason to hate big data, or more specifically, Bloom and its CTOS. I've been overseeing operations, making sure people get to where they need to be with the tools they require. I've got eyes on the big picture. The way I see it, I've lit the fuse. It's only a matter of time before Bloom feels the dead sec explosion. Dead sec found Josh. Hot sauce. Posting anti-CTOS videos on invite. Kid had a plastic Halloween mask over his face, a skull. But like the worst dollar store skull you could find? You can see his eyes through it. Big no-no when it comes to avoiding a profiler. He had a distorted voice, but he didn't change his speech patterns. See, Josh, he's high-functioning autistic, which means he's got a very specific way of talking. Sitara found him easily, but he wasn't at all what we expected. When you get down to pure coding, Josh operates on a higher level than the rest of us. We got a look at a CTOS profile and all kinds of nasty flags popped up. Emotionally challenged, unstable, even a low mental maturity score. He's none of those things and he quickly became the activist soul of our group. He has a black and white way of seeing things, fair and unfair. Which means he can be refreshing and often hilarious. We caught a glimpse of the damage CTOS dealt him. Rejected care programs, cut funding, overcharges. We offered to help him make things right. When we met Josh, he had the right intentions and the wrong approach, like a laser putting on a pretty light show instead of burning holes. If Bloom's system wants to make him unemployable, damn straight we're gonna snatch him up and point him right back at him. The wrench. <laughs> Man, what to say about this guy? Some freaky shit going on right there. I'd like to say he's actually a sensitive, charming guy beneath the harsh exterior. But I'm pretty sure he's a fucked up motherfucker all the way through. I don't even know who first recruited him. He just started showing up at local hacker spaces and building his tools of destruction. At first, I thought he was trying too hard. Like he was a FBI plant or something. But no agent is gonna pull the kind of suicidal stunts this guy does. I think the truth is... Wrench doesn't care if he dies, but he's not going quietly. Even so, I'm glad we've got the wrench on our side. One of the group's biggest problems is lack of GSD. Getting shit done. The wrench is pure GSD, and he brings his own sledgehammer. He's not some dumb thug either. I've seen some of his code. He's legit. Probably why he's interested in dead second, not some street gang. You know what? I take that back. He might actually belong to a street gang, who knows? One thing I do know about Wrench, the man hates Bloom. I mean, hates them. I can't get the why from him. It's obvious he wears the mask to avoid facial recognition, but what's he hiding from? He's not safe. So we've been looking at this new guy, calls himself Retro. Now I like his style, spent some time in Oakland. In fact, that's where he earned some of his hacker cred. I read everything I could about it when it was going down. The home domain center had to deal with Homeland Security. They rolled out cameras in Oakland and started stockpiling data on everybody. Somehow Retro got targeted by the thing. It profiled him based on his computer skills and marked him as a prime suspect in the local high-tech robbery. The evidence was all digital. Nothing put him at the scene of the crime. And the case <laughs> was a shit show. Full of quotes from people who didn't know anything about technology, lies everywhere, false flags and fear-mongering. <laughs> they weren't about to admit to a flaw in their system. Retro got lucky. He got a judge that decided not to throw the book at him. So he ended up with community service. He says it wasn't a big deal because he got to work with kids. Taught them the truth about the system in place. Probably the best lesson they've ever learned. But he knew he was going back after the HDC. 
He data mined them, hacked into the accounts of their key members, exposed every little thing that showed just how corrupt the system was. A huge victory, right? Yeah, maybe not so much. Oh, he spanked the HDC, no question. Got the program shut down hard. So where did all those cameras in Oakland go? They're still there. But guess who owns them now? Bloom. They're part of the CTOS, being used to track and profile people, just like the HDC was doing. And now Retro's got himself a nasty profile on record. We think he's gonna be eager to do something about it and can't wait to see him work. My bet? He's prime dead sec material. So what do you do around here for fun? What do you mean? This is fun. Yeah, but outside this place. No. Right. Uh, nice talk, Josh. source research app. So, like, all of us here pool vulnerabilities that we find, and we encourage everyone to share their work, their research, etc. Okay, so what's the research app do? Widen our skill set? Make us irresistible to the gender of our choice? What, so it's like a I know kung fu kind of deal? If kung fu was a gender and not so 1999, absolutely. of technology. A 3D printer? This is the army of printers. It is capable of pumping out an arsenal of little weapons down. Seriously? Yep. Once you master it, voila! Hipster merchant of death. All good, except I'm no hipster. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that. Now try to make something. But don't blow us up. Thank <laughs> you. 
Good to have another brother here. Good to be here, man. Are you all hackers? Yeah, kind of a basic requirement to get invited into the hacker space. But we all have our specialties, like Josh over there. Always building shit that shouldn't work. Now he's trying to build this big-ass drone. And Wrench? Good engineer, too. But better at breaking shit apart. And yo, Satara? <laughs> Sis got skills as an artist and a graphic designer. Without her, dead sex walking around without a face or voice. What about you? What's your superpower? Tactical coordinator, or cat herder. Take your pick. I make dead sec go where it has the most impact. You heard of Prime 8? Those are some real dirty hacking motherfuckers. Yeah, I've brushed up against them before. It wasn't pleasant. All right, that's what I like to hear. Link up with me when you're ready to do this, and I'll fill you in. There's always someone running ops against Prime 8. Bet they'd love your help. It's something, right? This whole place is something. We used to keep track of news feeds on here, but now it's our follower wall. So it knows if we're trending? No, no, no. It's based on hard values. How many people downloaded our app, how much processing power we have access to, you know. Nice. And speaking of which, we're downloading the DeadSec app into your phone as we speak. When it's ready, open it up, click the suggested op, and hit the park outside so we can test it. Sounds good. One more thing. I put a reminder on your phone so you remember what we're gunning for. Get enough processing power to take down Bloom. organization New Dawn is accusing Oakland City Councilor Miranda Kamei of defamation. In a recent interview, the councilor had described the organization as, quote, a fraudulent pyramid scheme. The organization seems to have fought back with more than just lawyers. The councilor's private life was recently revealed when medical records of the councilor's transgender treatments were mysteriously released to the media. A spokesperson for New Dawn said that the organization had nothing to do with the leaked medical records and in her statement accused Councillor Kamei of desperately seeking attention. The app's downloaded and I'm in the park. What am I testing? Start profiling things around you. People, devices. See what you can pull from them. That's what helps us figure out our next ops. And running ops that are important to people is how we get them interested in DeadSec. The more followers download our app, the more intel we get. It's the circle of life. Oh, and see if you can find some components to help us with our research. Hipster merchant! <sighs> the app is your data mining tool. Of death. Okay, okay, I got this. So what now? Up to you, man. You're free to do whatever catches your eye. We post ops to the DeadSec app, and doing them helps us get followers. And followers are our Skrilla. Followers mean computers, which boosts our processing power, which lets us do bigger and better ops. Bobo Dakes is the voice of the people, y'all. Don't let them steal our voice. 
Hey, so what's this about Bobo Dakes? You know Bobo's working on a new album, right? Yeah, I heard. Well, you won't get to hear it? Motherfucker Gene Carcaney just put millions on the table to keep it all to himself. What does a big pharma CEO want with a rap album? Dude has a huge Bobo collection. And he probably wants to hang that shit on his wall like a damn trophy. It's just rubbing his money in our faces, bruh. Do you know if Bobo took the deal? He hasn't announced anything yet, but he will. It's a lot of cash. And maybe there's still time for an intervention. Time for what? I assume you guys have heard of Gene Carcani? He's the shit sack who's on TV laughing about how he's raising the price of leukemia medicine. Yeah, the most hated man in America? Yeah, why do you ask? Guy's a huge Bobo Dakes fan. Must have read Bobo's in town recording new tracks, because he's offering millions to keep the album to himself. So stupid. Bobo will never go for it. The real one won't. So we're gonna do it for him. I'm gonna visit Bobo and see if I can borrow some of his new tracks as proof that we're legit. How do we contact Karkani? I need you guys to run through interviews, podcasts, whatever. Find me some usable lines. We're gonna make a soundboard. Ooh, I love this. I hope you learned your lesson. What the hell? Marcus, guys, the Cyber Driver trailer just dropped. Oh, yeah, sweet. Hey, don't watch it without me. <laughs> Meet you at the hacker's wave. I'm on my way. No, I... Coming up after the break, we'll be sitting down with a former street artist. 
Sweet T, as he's known in the community, is here to promote a new book of his art and a brand new fashion line, including t-shirts, caps, and bling. Very exciting stuff. Nuts when I was growing up. You can't clip your nails at night because it invites evil spirits. I still can't figure that so one out. Bad. Like, why? I mean, what is it about my manicure habits? I've had a real thing. Go to the mission. Great restaurants on Valencia Street. John, this house smells. Uh, they all are. We can even go dance. Yes. There's a lot of crazy shit beneath the surface. You know that, or you wouldn't be here, right? You could say that. Well, having you here, getting followers to download our app, going public with all this, it'll be good to start seeing what the hell's going on.
Have you seen the trailer for the new Jimmy Siska movie? No, it's out. Hey, hey, pull it up, no, man. No, no, not on this. For this, we need perfect sound. We need a big screen. We need to be comfy. You're right. We need quiet. Have you seen it yet? No, man. I waited for you. You're the best. Thank you. All right, everybody, we're going to watch the trailer. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. In a world where technology connects everything. I'm not looking for justice, goddammit. One man prowls the information superhighway in search of cyber justice. I'm looking for cyber justice. Simple line of code could devastate the whole world. It's gonna be a cyber caster. Cyber Driver. Hit him with the code for a chip. Jimmy Siska is... Got no choice, kiddies. Follow me, or die. Devon Von Devon. We gotta get these hackers somewhere safe. They aren't hackers, Devon. They're just script kiddies. Hey, the car answered. This ain't your mama's smart car. I think next time we're gonna need a higher firewall, pal. Cyber, Cyber Driver. Action hero, badass. Talking car, admit it, Josh. The car is cool. You know what I'm thinking? We cut our own version of that trailer. And that car is gonna help us do it. Real? Would not have us a ton of followers. Yo, first, Josh and I will go to the studio to get that script. We'll look around and see what other gems they have about death sec. And we'll look for the car. All right, so what's the deal here? Are we, are we issuing an advisory? No, why would we do that? They'll just patch the holes. Uh, let them. Don't worry, cyber child. Oh, don't. Hacker movie's gonna get hacked. HMP Studios, we are holding you solely responsible for the threat that is CyberDriver. CyberDriver. Cheesy stunts and bad dialogue, we can take. But you've insulted our intelligence, and that we can't excuse. It seems like you could deal with a lesson on what hackers are capable of. And since you didn't come to us to learn, we'll come to you to teach. We are launching Operation Hack and Run. We'll show you what hackers can do. We are dead set. That movie was gonna be good. <laughs> well, yeah, sure. The fun to laugh at. Cool, you said. Uh, did I actually say cool? Here's what we know, Josh. Cyber Driver is shaped up to be a million dollar cyber catastrophe. I know you're trying to get my goats with that word. Uh, I don't want that, man. Keep your goats. Why would Galilei allow their name to be sullied? You mean cyberized? You can keep trying, but it will never be funny to me. I'm not gonna lie. If those scenes were what they chose for the trailer, yeah, the rest of it's gonna be jack shit. And why they chose to target DedSec is curious. Well, Chicago was a big deal. True. Anyway, don't worry. You and me?
All right, we're going to take one more call today, see if we can't give away another pair of tickets to our sold-out block. And there it is, Hook Motion Picture Studios. Okay, guys, I'm in.
Location on the suspect. Moving on. I lost him. I'm calling it. Start a sweep.
Here we go. Nice. The not so secret emails. for your kind. I found it. We got the full script of Cyberdrive. What about the car? I don't think it's on site. We'll find it. I'm heading out now. an email that says the car is being delivered to a location but doesn't say where or when that's okay i think i have a backup plan contact who knows where the car is. He's waiting for you. We'll give him whatever he asks for out of that email dump. He's good for it. Sure. You have a paparazzi contact? <laughs> is there anyone you don't know? That's me. Social butterfly. As I was saying, I think it's good that they, uh... Oh, sorry. That they're actually... Yes, please. Modell Stanley, Gorgos, Densec, Green Lisa, Atu, Densec, Awazi Nabil, Sleep Street, Densec. Oh shit. Guys, somebody's doxing Densec members. What? Where? I found a payphone with some hardware attached to it. It just started ringing, and there was a recorded message on the other end. It, it said a few names, Stanley L. something, uh, Sleek Street, Nabil Azari. Awazi. Yeah, I know Sleek. Damn, this is a real threat. We need to shut this down fast. 
Anybody have any ideas? Should we take the hardware? No. Leave it for now. I can put together a man-in-the-middle attack to track the other end of the call, but the more we can cover, the better. Yeah. I'll see if I can find more hacked payphones. Marcus, our follower count is growing fast. How many are actually giving us access to their computers? All of them. That's the point. They give us access to their power. We grow a network of computers that makes us stronger. Our own giant cloud computing network. So do people sign a contract? I vow to let DedSec own my processor? We're transparent. They know before they ever install the app that they're giving us access to their computing power. But never their personal info. That's a lot of trust. Silicon Valley would kill to have that level of intrusion. Private data farming runs their whole economy. Yeah, but we look out for our own man. Retro, feel like stealing some primate intel? You got something for me? One of their lackeys in your neck of the woods. Hack them for what they've got, but make sure you don't get caught. You know how primate do? happening on the federal level. Cuts to education over the last 30 to 40 years has created an electorate that will salivate over a If you want deets on where the car is at, better have something juicy for me. Like Jimmy Siska and pop star Nelly Shire? They are banging. I knew it. See, okay, now we're talking. Consider it sent. <laughs> Hella cool. Coolosity. All right, I sent you the GPS of the car's route.
Hit the alarm! Someone... Be advised, we have reports of previously identified target near your location. Over.
Powering up. System check. Sweet! Let's roll. All units, we're in pursuit of a stolen vehicle from the movie studio. Squad to air support. Unknown suspect. We have an alert on a hospital near your location. Over. Do you feel the need? The need for speed. Not authorized to drive this vehicle. Well, I'm authorizing myself, motherfucker. Wrench, you hear this? The car is talking. Your face was too dark for my sensors to read. What? Bitch, I'm black and I'm proud. Tell your sensors to calibrate that. I have no weapons for black. I'm gonna try no, to get him. of course you don't. Squad, be advised. Something just exploded in the street. Crap, I'm lost him. Keep your hands and feet inside the tornado at all times. Hang on to your innards, Devin. Together, we will carve up the streets. Wait, did you just say a line from the movie? Wrench, you hearing this? I am one nitrous jacked smart car. Oh, wait, did, did you just say the car quoted the movie? Yeah. <laughs> that is so meta. On my way. Oh. I am Devin Von Devin and I am... You are not Devin. Devin Von Devin is handsome and swarthy. <laughs> you are not. Oh, come on. I'm sure as hell swarthier than any dude named Von Devin. Uh, uh -huh. Damn, Silicon Valley couldn't hire one brother? My Galilei creators think of everything. Yeah, maybe not everything. Oh man, this car, this car is something else. Yeah, well, kudos to Galilee for getting the studio to pay for this lemon. Lemon? 
Did you hear it? And never mind voice recognition. I mean, sure, it needs a smack of sided scripting, but it had cogent responses. Do you know how much work had to go into that? Uh, Galilei has been talking about machine learning for their Mars probe, but man, I didn't expect it to be as advanced as it. What? Oh, man. I know it. I do not approve of you driving me, Marcus. You're not as swarthy as Devin Von Devon. I knew it had too much smart ass to be smart. Wow. Shiny and new. So it wasn't responding at all? Well, does, um... Does, does that count? Yeah, fuck you, man. Fuck you. <laughs> the car's designed for autonomous control, but... Nothing's there or even calibrated. It's capable, but suboptimal. Not junk. See? That's what I'm talking about. Think positive. It's just stupid. So that's the plan? Fix a smart car the space company couldn't? Problem? No, we got this. Hmm. People still seem shocked by in-home surveillance. It's been happening for years. Maybe, but there's a difference between worrying about it and finding out it's worse than you feared. It's always worse than you feared. So they need to either accept it, or modify all their electronic devices to stop reporting back what they see. I don't think most people know how to do that. We can teach them. Let's teach them. I'll set up a wiki, starting with home. Marcus, Prime 8 got their hands on some of our data. Fuck, where are they? In a car, moving fast. And Marcus, they have someone on their tail. I think someone else wants what they know. Okay, I'll find something fast and get to them first. Marcus, they're getting away. You've got to move faster. Yo, I'm on it.
stash Fire. and vine. Earth. Elevated fashion for our elevated friends. Oh my god. Yeah, and then... Oh. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. No, 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 what were you saying before that? Hey, cool. So clumsy. Pick of it. Should be wearing a bag. What's going on? Whoa, yeah, Frankenstein me. lives. I love the name This Potion. Listen to like This Potion, you know? Guys, has DedSec ever run a Farmington's op? Farmington's? Why would we? No idea. But it looks like they've been firing employees who take even a passing interest in us. That's probably illegal. I'm gonna visit one of their pharmacies and see if I can get into the company system. Find out what's going on behind the scenes there. Hey, um, while you're there, I have a few prescriptions that need refilling under Josh's name, of course. 
course. Have you been stealing my pills? What? Oh, that's... No, <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Forget asked. Okay. Not nice. Oh, yeah? Come here. No, no, no! Keep away! Mm. shut us down when Deacon, lead guitar who was legitimately psychotic, but also reeling from about 10... No location on the suspect. Moving on. Ah! This should come in handy. Hey, Marcus. Meet Wrench in the garage when you're ready. Will do.
Hackers love a challenge. Alright guys, let's fire it up. Yeah, let's do this. Hell yeah! Okay, everything's set up. Ready? Dealing with the studio at all. 
It's okay, Josh. You know why? No, Satara. Why? We're gonna hit him where it Kiga hurts. <laughs> Started out as just a trickle, then boom. The numbers haven't stopped climbing. This is a good target. Yeah, but was it? You don't think? No, I mean, of course, look at the numbers, but I don't know, there's, I mean, what are we gonna do? You know, for real. Aim bigger. Hell yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Are you watching? <laughs> no. It's like sadtube.com. A channel for sad people, am I right? <laughs> yes, ask them. Come on. Look at them. They've got their own goddamn branding. I've been following them since they accessed our server network. Jesus Christ, don't yell in my fucking ear. Use your inside voice, will you? Anyways, it's all done other than the handshake. We're working with the human Izulu in case it gets to the collateral damage part of the relationship. They'll be discreet. Yo, come to see the magic happen? I'll let you watch while I do my thing. If you wanted magic, maybe you should be watching me work. Ho ho! Did Luke ride on Yoda's back? I think not. I was always more of a Lando man myself. Owned the Millennium Falcon, ran Cloud City, blew up the second Death Star. Killer mustache. Killer mustache. I'm more of a chewy guy myself. Rips off arms, handy with a hydro spanner, more hair than an 80s Greek porno. <laughs> I can see that. Do you want to? I still have some old tapes. Uh, I'm good. Marcus, those nude on parasites got a recruitment video killed. Can you believe it? Oh, I believe it. Jimmy Siska's greatest fits? Uh, say it ain't so. What are we gonna do about it? Come by the hackerspace when you have a minute, and we'll figure out the best way to pay them back. Hi. Let's talk about Satara. She's been driving DeadSec in the Bay Area. The hackerspace? She's paying for it with, uh, <laughs> borrowed money. <laughs> every DeadSec poster, every flyer, that's Satara. She's even had a hand in our core tool set. Found one of the first zero days in CTOS 2.0. Some of the guys call her Madam President, but I see her as more of a pirate captain. She'll lead you to the treasure, but you piss her off, you're walking the plank. I had a long talk with her once, found out where she gets her relentless drive. She's got rich parents back home in Calcutta, and I mean like drive a car in the house rich. They sent her to Ivy League schools, yes, plural. I've been digging a bit deeper into the studio's data sharing deal with Bloom, and the thing is, the studio let them have some of the user data, but Bloom's accessing more of it without the studio's knowledge. And the studio hasn't noticed? No, because the studio is using CTOS infrastructure. It's getting grabbed there. Josh must be right. Bloom's using it to improve their facial recognition with emotion mapping. Combine that with profiler data, what have they got? Some scary predictive algo in the works. That's the way I see it, too. I got something to show you. Am I gonna like it? I'm gonna say 30 to 1 odds against. Then I guess I better get it out the way. See you soon. 
Galileo was on the right track in their car dev. Looks like their plan was to feed the driver data into a machine learning algo. Meanwhile, Noodle's still using rule sets. Guess we shouldn't be surprised when Galilei releases a car into the wild that really works. Only a matter of time, man. I want to print something on the 3D printer, but the others don't think it's going to work. Uh, what is it? A dildo or a cat. I uh, haven't made up my mind yet. <laughs> Between a dildo or a cat? People keep talking about printing guns, except they all make them look like guns. Why can't it be a dildo or a cat or a unicorn? And then, bam! Its true purpose is revealed. Uh, sounds like you need to spend some time prototyping your unicorn dildo gun. You know, before worrying about the aesthetics. That resin is not cheap, man. It's a fair point. <laughs> New Dawn wants to step into the ring with us. They got our recruitment video killed on all the big social media sites and threatened to sue anyone who hosts it. This is gonna cost us a lot of followers. DMCA takedown. Annoying. This is worse than annoying. This is a declaration of war. I will not be censored. Hey, New Dawn's a fucking scam. With rich people throwing away their money for some elitist circle jerk shit. This could be big for us. I mean, nobody's gonna take the side of those assholes unless they're already members. We are so gonna cornhole this fake-ass church. What's cornhole? Where the corn goes after you eat the corn, Josh. Oh. They don't like us using footage of their celebrity whore, Jimmy Siska. So let's start with him. He's our highest profile spokesperson. But it's, it's Jimmy Siska. I mean, when I was a kid, I had the Siska glasses, the pop collar. I, I even knew every line to open wounds. Dude! Me too! I even have the lunchbox. Nice. Mint condition. Nice. Just not, not Cisco. In case anyone but him. There's, please, there's please. gotta be another way, all right? I don't know. He's in town shooting Cyber Driver. I was just thinking maybe we could talk to him. Fuck up his relationship with New Dawn. He can go back to being less of a douchebag. Then I could go back to wearing my Cisco tees without feeling like one. Wait a minute. You used cornhole as a verb. That doesn't even make sense in the context of you. Okay, okay. We focus on Cisco. <laughs> New Dawn keeps blackmail records of their celebrity shills, right? We check out the local center. We just need to get in and dig up his file. Everybody in? In. I'll round up the locals and I'll meet you there. Let the cornholing begin. <laughs> you heard the man. <laughs> Cornhole. <laughs> For too long, predators have victimized the weak and the wounded under the guise of religion. The Church of the New Dawn is a scam. Yeah. Rank in the church is based on financial contribution. Loyalty is bought through blackmail and fear. They believe they are untouchable. That will soon change. DeadSec will reveal the secrets and true purpose of New Dawn. You can help. Take up a mask and protest your local recruitment center. Let their leaders know what you think of them online. Join us as we send them a message. No more. DeadSec will give you the truth. Do what you will.
Hey there. You looking for something one of a kind? Feeling cheap? That's your next to drive. Enough for you. Sure. You're gonna go inside and take a peek, or? Oh, yeah. Oh, and I wore my church clothes. Nice. Buy enlightenment. It only costs your life savings. All right, I'm heading in. I'll dig up what I can on Siska. We're about to go to battle with these fuckers. I need anything shady you can find. If we want to pick up followers, we need to generate some serious outrage. Can't we just make something up? If we get caught lying, everything else DedSec ever claimed will be called a lie. Don't worry. If they've shit the bed, I'll find the dirty sheets. And in comes Marcus with the classy metaphor. <laughs> I aim to please. Who 
the fuck? Beat it. Ow! Hey! Are you going to run, huh? Are you a... There. Over here! Hey, dead sec here needs a lesson. <laughs> Oh, God. 